Hello everyone and welcome back to another Facebook Live. I'm Dr. Guy Cappuccino and this week we are talking about Avali. Avali is a new cellulite reduction technique. It's very exciting. It's one that I've had a lot of experience with before its launch and um, I'm excited to tell you about it today. As always, if there are any comments, please jump in. This is not going to be a very long Facebook Live. Uh, it should run no more than 10 minutes. Uh, so I'd love it if people had some questions or just jumped in at any point. I'm happy to answer it. Um, first off, I'm going to describe the procedure. I'm going to show you the actual instrument. I'm going to describe a little bit about what goes on during the procedure. I'm going to show you some before and after pictures. I'm going to show you a video um, of me performing one of the procedures. And then just talk about uh, what recovery is like and long-term results. As always, I would love it if people ask their questions, so don't be shy. Okay, so first of all, what is Avali? Avali is a office-based procedure. Uh, this is the device you're looking at right here. And essentially, it is a handheld unit. Um, I'll show you it in my hand right here. With a, a wand, which is no more than two uh, millimeters and change, which has a retractable blade. And to understand why this works and how this works, you have to understand cellulite. So cellulite are dimples or indentations in the skin caused by fibrous bands that we call septae. And septae are like anchoring structures that pull the center of this dimple or band um, downwards and cause a pincushion deformity. So you have that dimple that's classic from cellulite um, or deep creases um, usually in the buttock and thigh area. And this causes a maldistribution of fat and tissue around it. So really to treat effectively and in a long-term manner, we need to cut those septae, but we need to do it in a way that is minimally traumatic, minimally invasive, minimally painful, and has long-term results. So Avali is, in my opinion, the best out there. Um, I actually worked on developing a very similar product about a decade ago and found that it worked incredibly well. Um, and I'm very happy that this company has brought it to market to help as many people as possible. So um, I'm going to continue along here and just give you a little more description. So again, um, as the brochure says, it's time to expect more, meaning long-term reduction, minimally invasive, quick results, and it's a single office visit. Let me show you some examples of some patients we've done recently. So let's start here. On the left, we see a patient. Uh, she is in her late 40s and is in good physical condition with no excess fat on her body, but still has some dimples. And so what you see on the left is the before picture. And what you see on the right are the areas that we are going to treat. So on the left posterior thigh, we see this area that's circled which has a line in the middle. The line is the indentation, right? It corresponds over here. And then in the central posterior buttock area, we have several depressions. So if you look on the picture on the left, we have one large one here and several satellites. And then on the right buttock, we also have several lesions that we are going to um, undermine and improve. So the after picture now, this is two months later. On the left-hand side, we have that same picture showing the areas that were treated. And on the right-hand side, we have the after result. And you'll see that the majority of those dimples are completely gone. If we look side by side, now we have before on the left and after on the right. So this is a very complete resolution. She's a good patient. She has good skin elasticity, minimal excess fat. Um, and simply performing this procedure uh, was all that was needed. This picture here shows a post-surgical scar from orthopedic surgery on her right thigh. And it's improved, as you can see, however, not completely gone. We'll look at an oblique view. And again, the proof here is really in the photographs. Very impressive results. In my experience, there hasn't been anything, um, anything better. 
Um, I know we have people watching, just to make sure that the comments are enabled, if somebody could just drop me a comment, even if it's just hello or a wave, so I know that you are there. Um, I'm not certain that they are um, coming through. Now I'm gonna show a video of the procedure. So this is me performing um, this procedure on the patient that you just saw. What you're seeing here is a small hole in the buttock crease. It's anesthetized with local anesthesia, the patient's awake, and I'm running the device underneath the tissue. So you'll see me run it underneath the tissue. Hello, thanks Pam. And then when I'm underneath the tissue, I'm gonna extend the blade, confirm that I have that fibrous band, pull through, and then release the blade. So I have very little surrounding collateral damage and we're just releasing that band. Here, watch it again. I'm pushing in, I'm catching the band, and then I'm pulling the blade and popping it through. And then we go back and we clear that whole area out before moving on and we confirm that there is nothing left. The red light you're seeing is just an indicator that's at the tip of this device and it helps me to know how deep I am. A couple other things about the procedure, after we mark, we inject some anesthetic, very similar to local anesthesia that we would use for liposuction, so this area is completely numb, and the patients will tell you it's minimal to no discomfort during the procedure. I'll show you another patient of mine. So again, on the left, we see the before, on the right, we see the areas that we were going to work on. Uh, again, um, this is a patient in her early 40s, very good physical condition, and only has some dimples on the right side that she wanted us to work on. You can see them circled on the right buttock and on the right posterior lateral thigh, we have a couple of creases. And then here we are afterwards. So we can match up in the photograph the areas that were treated and are now cleared out, as we say. Here's a three-way comparison. So the before, the areas that are marked and the areas that were treated. Here's an oblique view, much smoother result, a three panel view. So to conclude, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the procedure and about what could be expected before, during, and after the procedure. So. Before the procedure, we come into the office, we mark out the areas, go to the procedure room, typically lay on our belly, we have a comfortable pillow to lay your chest and neck on, anesthetize the areas to be uh, removed. We'll take the device, make a small hole, put the device under the skin, pull back to release the dimple, and then when we're done, that hole is no more than the size of a ballpoint pen tip which we'll repair with one dissolving stitch. And then afterwards, we ask people to wear some compression pants. So bring yoga shorts with you or whatever the area that we're working on to be compressed. And we wanna wear that compression garment as much as we can for the first two weeks. You can resume normal activity right away. However, you can be sore a couple of days after, even up to five days is what people have told me, um, but it's not debilitating in any way. You can go back to your normal activity, although you might not wanna do like a full workout because it might just be pretty sore. Ibuprofen, Tylenol are both fine afterwards, but not before, which we'll explain to you for bruising. And then the, the worst thing we're gonna see is bruising. So everybody should expect some bruising, some is worse than others. Most of it resolves completely within a few weeks. And then as you saw, these patients who both had bruising um, were shown at two months and the bruising was completely resolved. So really you're just talking about some post-operative discomfort and some bruising, and the results are long lasting because we're treating the underlying problem, um, which are those fibrous bands that needed to be removed. Um, Pam, thank you for the question. How many holes are generally needed for an area? Well, uh, let's take a look at this patient here. So we treated the entire left buttock and posterior thigh with one incision in the left buttock crease and the right buttock um, and thigh with one crease and then that scar on the side we did separately. So typically one uh, small incision um, for each side of the body if we're doing the posterior buttock and thighs. If we're getting all the way out to the side of the thighs, we might need a third or fourth depending upon the area. Um, but you won't even see them because they're so small. In fact, if we look, um, 
what I did on this one is I used the bottom of this old scar right there. And if you look closely, you'll see it's a teeny bit red two months later. Um, but that, that scar was pre-existent, so very hard to tell the work there. Thanks for that question. Okay, if there are no other questions, I'm going to keep it short and sweet today, except I will tell you that since Avali is new, we are offering an introductory discount of 20% off. So I encourage you for the rest of this week, share this video with your friends, call the office uh, and ask about pricing. It varies based upon the area that we're working on, the number of dimples, but they'll give you a pretty good estimate. And of course that 20% discount is good all week. All you gotta do is call and make the appointment. You don't have to book the procedure. So thank you very much everybody for your attention. I really appreciate you joining me today and for your questions and I look forward to seeing you next time.